This video is for those of you who are using Windows operating software and want to verify that your speakers are set up properly and that you're able to hear sound out of them. So let's get started. What I need you to do is first go to your desktop by clicking on the desktop icon. From there we're going to open up the control panel window. Now to do this go ahead and put your mouse over the Windows icon located in the bottom left hand corner of your screen right click your mouse and then select the word control panel. Once this window is open you might see that my view is a little bit different than yours. That's because I have mine set to small icons versus categories. For this demonstration I'm going to go ahead and set mine back to small icons. Now this lists all the computer settings in alphabetical order. So it's easy for me to find the sound settings, which is located right here. So let's go ahead and open up that window. Now we're just talking speakers, so what we want to focus on is just the playback tab. We don't need to worry about the recording, the sound, or the communications tab. Now you can see in this window, right now I'm using a headset to talk to you. So the computer is using the headset as my default device for playing sound. I want to switch this to my speakers. To do this it's real simple. Just highlight the speaker, right click on it, and set it as the default device. Now you can see we've switched from the default device being the speakers from the headset to the speakers on the laptop that I'm using right now and or the speakers you might have plugged into your laptop or your computer. Once this is done, we want to check the settings for the sound levels. So go ahead and click on the word Properties. Now your speakers and headphone properties are listed here. To check the level of the sound, go ahead and check, click on Levels. Now you can see I have mine set real low, so I'm going to go ahead and move them up to about 50. That's a good benchmark to start with. What you don't want to do is you don't want to set your speaker level to the top. This will tend to overdrive the signal being sent from the device to the speakers and you might hear a low level hum out of the speakers. So it's best that you kind of keep it between 50 and 60 and use the volume control on your speakers if you want to turn them up real loud. The other thing you want to check is you want to make sure that the speakers are not muted. If you see a little red circle in that speaker icon box, that lets you know that the speakers are muted. To unmute the speakers, just go ahead and click on this icon. You also want to just check the balance just to make sure it's set at 50-50. That's the default setting and this is probably what you'll see. So go ahead and click OK. Once this is done, you can click OK and close this window. Now to test the speakers, go ahead and click on the speakers and headphones and then click on the word configure. Now this setup would be specifically stereo which would be for two-piece speakers or if you have a two-piece speaker and a subwoofer. It's a simple test by just clicking on the word test you'll hear chimes on the left and then on the right side of your speakers. Once you've heard the sound, then you know everything is set up properly. Go ahead and click Next, then Next again, and then go ahead and click Finish. So this kind of walks you through a quick setup and a test to make sure that your speakers are working properly. If after this you're still getting no sound out of your speakers, I would suggest that you do the following. Go ahead and remove the green plug from your laptop or your computer and plug it into a separate audio device like a mobile phone or an iPad or any other device that has a headphone jack. If you hear sound coming out of the speakers from a different device such as your mobile phone or an iPad that's letting you know that the speakers are working properly. They're receiving the signal from the mobile or audio device that it's playing and you're hearing the sound over the speakers. If you remove the green plug and plug it back into your computer or laptop and you're not hearing sound, that's a good signal that your 
device is not delivering an audio signal to the speakers and you will need to contact your computer manufacturer to make sure that your sound card drivers are up to date and working properly. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call at our tech support line at area code 360-823-4100. We are open from 8 o'clock till 5 p.m. Pacific Coast time, Monday through Friday, except holidays. I want to thank you for watching this video and hopefully you found it helpful.